Hey guys, it's Erica. We are going to be checking out weeklies, weeklies, uh, after school because there's three E's in it. I'm excited for this. This is one of the newer K-pop girl groups that leans into cuter concepts and cuter sound and their sound is very interesting, you know, what they do in their tracks. And I'm excited for this comeback. It's called After School. So we're kind of getting a, a school girl concept, which they kind of... It kind of goes along with the cutesy sort of uh, image that they have and kind of just their whole previous stuff too as well. So I'm excited so you know what it like. Oh, I didn't see any teasers or teaser pictures or anything. I'm kind of going in blind. Oh, wait, it ain't gonna be cutesy. Why is it go leaning very hip hop and like even their style? Oh, they're like cutesy. Trapping. Okay, that's cute though. The bucket? The flowers? Okay, kill it. The camouflage jacket? I'm feeling the fashion. Yes! Yo! Oh! <laughs> oh! Hashtag! Zigzag! The rap is really good in this song. Oh, we really out here. Well, those are like longboards. But I like this sort of skater longboard concept. The one with their with like the skate ramps, the one they're dancing in is so sick of a room. Where are they going? Where are we going? Where are they taking us? A basketball court in the sky? Oh my god, those harmonies! Amazing. I loved it. She's swinging in the clouds. In like a little desk. Oh, in space. Yo, this is their best release, in my opinion. Like, Jesus Christ. And it sort of is like a transitional sort of just like comeback and stuff because you're talking about like after school and they're kind of doing the cutesy schoolgirl sort of thing you know what i mean for their previous stuff so the fact that they it's like an after school thing it's almost like a transition and you have like the hip-hop influence not only in track but in their fashion kind of tomboyish um that's really really cool that they just kind of like leaned into that sort of aesthetic and i like the whole like longboard kind of like skater 
concept. It was really, really cool. The fashion, yo, they, they don't really do this sort of fashion anymore or these sort of concepts for girl groups. They uh, trappy, cutesy sort of uh, stuff was hot like a couple of years ago, like hot for a good minute, like a minute, like it did not last very long. So I like that they sort of taken that element in there and the rapping was really, really good. Like the production of the track, oh my God, amazing. Vocals were out of this world too as well. Like the song itself was amazing. I loved it. I love this sort of thing. Uh, visually stunning. I loved everything. Again, the fashion, the lighting, the concept, you know, the skater concept. Again, it's kind of tomboyish, which is really, really cool because I'm a tomboy. So I like, I kind of like those sort of just like concepts in there without like screaming in your face like tomboy concept you know what i mean but it was super super cool i really liked it the sound is really really great again because it's called like again it's kind of giving me vibes that it's like a transition period and maybe they go into something a little bit different for their next comeback but i really really enjoyed this and you know they sort of just like had like they did the hashtag thing which the ones was it was called tag me and then they did the zigzag in the lyrics too as well which is a really nice callback to their previous concepts and that also kind of gives me the vibes that it's going to be like a transitional sort of thing and you have like the space sort of thing there and then they sort of went through the little like portal to the the basketball court in the sky so it's kind of again i think it is going to be like a transition thing but what a great little transition thing um i was surprised by their rapping i didn't know they could rap that well it was they were really really good it was super super dope i love this i think this is their best release um because i did like it that they were kind of giving me my cutesy k-pop fix in their uh in their tracks and their concepts and stuff like that but this sort of just like transition it's sort of the, there's not a lot of cutesy elements into the song or just being like overly cute for the k-pop world um or how k-pop groups normally do it but they still maintain that little like cutesy stuff in there with their just like expressions and stuff but it's not like um it's not fully pushing that in or it's not, and it's not fully pushing it out and you know they're sort of it's just like the thing where they're kind of trying to do like a girl crush cutesy sort of just like concept um in k-pop is kind of what was happening a lot with some rookie groups um, not all of them, but some of them are kind of going for that sort of thing. But this one, it's sort of is just like that perfect blend of being like the cutesy trap sort of thing. You know what I mean? And but also not taking that as a sound, but also as a concept too as well. I really loved it. Visually, it was super super stunning. Love this music video, and I love this song too. And just whole concept overall amazing go to put your thoughts and comments down below what you thought about weeklies after school if you like this video give this video a thumbs up if you liked me and want to see more of my videos go and hit that subscribe button if you want to see my videos the second they come out hit that notification button if you want to follow me on social media twitter instagram snapchat tiktok or the description down below or at the end screen share this video to your friends thank you guys so, so much for watching love you and i'll tell you guys later bye